Hey, what's up everyone? Havoc here. So I'm going to show you how, how to get Sunshine and Moonlight working on your PC and Steam Deck. This also works with other handhelds like the Ally and Legion Go, so you can just follow along. This allows you to use the hardware in your PC to run demanding games, all while playing it comfortably on your Steam Deck or whatever handheld that you're using. So let's get started. Okay, so head on, on down over to Chrome, and then just type in Sunshine, Moonlight, and you can click the first link here, GitHub. So once you click that, scroll down and go to the releases and it'll show you the latest one here. Click that. And then uh, this is just all the information about the program. So you can scroll all the way down and then just look for the one that is specifically for Windows because that's what we're using. And you can click that. And then just run the program installer. This just pops up whenever you're downloading it, like midway. Um, you don't really need to do anything unless you're looking up something specifically over here. Otherwise, you can just X out of it. Okay, so once you're done, click finish. And then search up Sunshine. And you can pin it to the start or taskbar. Um, you can also just open the file location here. And then drag and drop to your desktop. And then double click to open. And it's going to say it's not private, it's not secure, but that's okay, just continue. And over here, you'll have to create an account. So it's only a one-time thing. Once you create an account, you're all set. So once you've created your account, log in. And this is the home page for Sunshine. So you can actually go to Applications, and this is the tab that we're going to be using later on to add our games. And this is what's going to be another important page, and this is going to be a one-time thing. So head on over to your Steam Deck and go to uh, desktop mode. Once you're in desktop mode, go down to the bottom left and then open the discover tab. And then just search up Moonlight. And then go ahead and install here. Once it's installed, go to your apps and then scroll down. And then just uh, make sure Moonlight's working. So you know, open it here, see if your um, PC actually shows up. And then we can see that my PC shows up right here. So we're not going to do anything with this right now. Just X out of this, but open up Steam. And we're going to add Moonlight as uh, add to our library so we can access it in big picture mode. So go to the bottom left, click add a game, and then click add a non Steam game. Once you're at this page, scroll down again to find Moonlight, click that, and then add selected programs. And just to confirm that we have it, go to your library, and then scroll down and make sure that it actually pops up so we can see it right there moonlight and you don't need to do anything further right now now just x out of this and go back to uh, big picture mode or gaming mode now once we're back here you can uh, again confirm that moonlight's working by going over to your library and then it should be under your non-steam games and there we have it so click that and then you can click play and it'll launch the app. So again, here's where we have our gaming PC. So this is going to be the pin that you use back on Sunshine. So just keep that pin in mind. Go back to Sunshine, go to the pin section and just type your pin here to connect the two devices. OK, that's all we need to do for pin pairing. Now, again, back on your Steam Deck, here's where we're going to adjust some settings. So go here. You can leave the resolution of 720p because if you change it, uh, what that's going to do is have some black bars on the side of your screen. You can also change the video bitrate here. If you have bad connection or low, a slower connection, then you can decrease it. I also leave VSync and frame pairing on. Um, otherwise, the only other thing is to make sure that your GUI display is in full screen. I guess this is a personal preference. So I leave it in full screen. It works well for me. But you can do you know whatever you want here. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So let's go. Uh, this is where we're going to add our games in. So go back to Sunshine, click Add, and we're just going to open up like an Xbox Game Pass game. And these are the games that I have downloaded here. And we will go for Zombie Army 4. So I already, I already have it downloaded. Application name, we're just going to put the game's name Zombie Army 4. And right click on the icon and click Copy as Path. And you'll use that later in a second. 
So under detached commands, type this in. It's going to be cmd.exe space forward slash c and then just paste whatever you copied. And be sure to hit that plus sign, that way it gets saved. Once you do that, you can scroll down where it says image and then add a cover, like your cover art for this. So click whatever you, you want to pick here. And once you do that, scroll all the way down and click save. Now, Zombie Army 4 should show up on your Steam Deck. So we'll flip back over to the Steam Deck, click on our gaming PC, and there you go. Now it pops up here. So we'll click that and see it load up. And there we have we have it on our uh, Steam Deck screen. So here's just a look of both of them working together. You can see that when I move the mouse on the Steam Deck, it also moves it on my PC monitor. So click play here and uh, we'll see them both logging in. So we'll go just test out a game real quick, see how it works. And there you have it. Now you can see that it's playing pretty well. Uh, I don't have any issues with uh, latency and uh, no lag, no stuttering, but that really depends on your Wi-Fi connection as well. So if you've got a strong Wi-Fi connection or if your PC is plugged into Ethernet, then you really shouldn't have any issue. So after we do that, now the way to exit is going to be pressing start, select L1 R1, and that way we can exit out of Moonlight and you can just close the application. Now, one thing that you need to know is you can download this VIGEM bus. It This is because if your controller or your gamepad on your Steam Deck is not working for whatever reason. Once you download this, just go ahead and restart and it should work. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Havoc out.